Meanwhile, People First Party presidential candidate James Sohn was welcomed enthusiastically in Benchol Thursday morning, getting a boost of confidence just two days before Election Day. The 73-year-old former provincial governor is hoping that many of Taiwan's silent voters will make their voices heard in support of his candidacy. James Sung joined PFP legislative candidate Hector Kung early Thursday morning to stump for votes in a Banqiao market. People greeted Sung enthusiastically, even giving him gifts, leading him to believe that silent voters will back him. I want to the people of Taiwan will use their votes to show that they want cross-strait peace, but absolutely don't want to give up their free and democratic system and insist that Taiwanese are masters of their own home. So I believe silent, rational voters will gradually come out. In the final days of the campaign, there have been calls within the Pan Blue camp, which includes both the KMT and PFP, to abandon Song and save KMT candidate Eric Ju. But Song was not worried. What's really being abandoned are the policies that have been cast aside by the people. Of course, we want to save Taiwan's long-term, free and democratic peace and stability. What will also be abandoned, Song says, is the constant blue-green political infighting. He hopes to benefit by having voters oppose partisan politics and support him.